everyone, welcome back. I missed you guys. Um, if anyone is trying to be a little bit healthier in January or maybe trying to be January or a plant-based January, um, then I've got a perfect recipe for you today. It's sweet potato and courgette stew with chickpeas, onion, spinach. We're gonna serve it with quinoa, but it's super hearty. It's cooked in coconut milk and tinned tomatoes, loads of warming spices. So it's that healthier, but still warming, hearty. And yeah, as I said, I think you guys are gonna love it. So step one for this recipe is just to peel your sweet potatoes. It's two sweet potatoes, but mine were really little, so I'm using three. And then just chop them up into little bite-sized pieces. And then we're gonna either steam them or boil them for about 15 minutes or so just to soften them so that when they go into the curry, they're nice and soft and tender and kind of melt into the mix. So the next thing you're gonna do is just finely chop up your onion and your garlic and then get a really nice big saucepan always using my pink one. <laughs> um, put it on the stove, add um, the onion and the garlic, some salt and some olive oil, and then get that cooking five, 10 minutes or so just until it goes nice and soft. As the sweet potatoes are finishing cooking, just drain them and we're gonna add our sweet potato to the pan. Then we're gonna add our spices. We've got cumin, paprika, mustard seeds, ground coriander, chili flakes. So loads and loads and loads of flavor. We're gonna put that all in, stir it all up and just let that cook for a minute or two to really soak up all the spices spices before we add our tin tomatoes, coconut milk. Stir that all in, that's the lovely base, the creamy sauce of the mix. And then we're just gonna add a splash of maple for a bit of sweetness and a little cider vinegar for a kind of tanginess, or you could use a bit of lemon or lime as well. So just bring that to the boil, let it really bubble nicely, then turn the heat down and just let that simmer for 25, 30 minutes until it's all basically come together beautifully. And then for the last 10 minutes or so, you're gonna add chopped courgette. I slice it lengthways and then do it into half moon shapes. And then chickpeas as well. Cook that, as I said, for about 10 minutes or so. And then right at the end, add a couple of big handfuls of spinach. Just wilt that through, that will just take a minute or so. And then you're done and ready to serve. So there we go, it is super, super easy, perfect kind of January fuel, really warming, make double, and you can also take the rest for lunch the next day. I did it with quinoa today, but it's nice with rice. Do it in a jacket potato or a stuffed sweet potato as well. Um, and it's from the cookbook, which if you're trying to have a healthy or a kind of more plant-based veggie January is what you need in your life. Um, page 166 with all the stews, curries, dolls, basically everything warming but full of veg and all the good stuff for you. Um, so excited for you guys to make this one. Let me know if you've got the book, get on it ASAP. Um, and otherwise have a lovely evening and I'm very happy to be back sharing recipes.